everyone, it's Elton. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this one, we're gonna be making the uncharged dragon miraculous. And yes, I will be making the charged one next week. The reason I wanted to make the uncharged one as well is because I find this to be a really beautiful and fine piece of jewelry that I love wearing in my normal life. So without further ado, let's get started with the materials we're going to be using. As you can see, we're going to be using air dry clay. I'm using one necklace cord that's like black and plain. I bought this off from eBay. I bought like 40 of them and I'm making necklaces with them right now. I use some hot glue and I use three acry acrylic paints. A black one, a red one and a white one for priming mostly since the miracle doesn't have any white in it. So the first step we're gonna have to do is cut the cord in half. This sounds a little outrageous but trust me on this one, take your necklace cord and cut it in half just like I did here. For the next step we're gonna have to be a little more precise. Clasp it in the back and put it around your neck. We're gonna make a choker, don't make it too tight so you don't actually choke yourself. But you have an adjustable band on the back, as you can see with the lobster clasp. So chop a little bit so it fits you like a choker, on the loosest hook or on the tightest, whatever you find comfortable. After you cut it and you're all prepped, we're gonna make a little ball for a little gem in the middle. Make it out of air dry clay, you can make it out of former clay either, it's the same thing. And then with the help of a little bit of hot glue, we're gonna be attaching it to the cords. Now here is when I made an oopsie. I lost my footage for the first time and I lost a lot of it so I'm gonna try to explain to you what I did please forgive me <laughs> I really tried but it was corrupted I don't know what happened but don't worry I'm gonna help you here you see the finished product but what I did was glue it onto the cord as you can as I told you before with hot glue take the clay and make a little bit of more of a smooth transitioning from the gem to the cord because her necklace has like has like two little bulges that are like next to the gem and connecting it to the cord. So take some clay and as you can see here, I was smoothing things out. The white paint is there to show you that I primed everything with white paint. The clay parts, not the cord of course. Then I took the red paint and painted the gem in the middle. Now with the black paint, what I painted was those little transition bulges. I'm, as I'm going to come to call them. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm leaving this in the video. I make bloopers and I'm gonna leave them in. I painted black these little bulges that are like next to the gem and to the cords. I've said this sentence so many times. But if you do all those steps, you should get yourself a pretty sweet Dragon Miraculous, the untransformed version. A little tip now. The middle gem, when Marinette wore this Miraculous in, uh, of course, Kwame Buster, was a bright pink, not a red. When Kagami wears it, it's red. Personally, I prefer red because it's one of my favorite colors and I think it looks better on me. <laughs> but you can paint the middle gem whatever you want and it should still be good as a non-transformed dragon miraculous. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you so much for 200 subscribers. I'm gonna say this again because I'm super pumped. <laughs> thank you guys so much for the support and the beautiful comments and everything. I really like to read all of them and answer to all of you. I'll see you in a week. Bye!